So AML is a not infrequent disorder that uh, is basically divided into those patients that are younger that can receive some form of induction chemotherapy that is high intensity type of treatment and then the older patients where particularly those that are older than 70 years of age where it's more difficult to deliver this kind of therapy. The issue with the high intensity chemotherapy is that first of all it seems to work very well in some specific subsets of patients but in others, uh, the therapy, you may gain all the toxicity from the treatment and not the benefit. So the difficult part is actually is that as we age, these leukemias become more frequent. So the healthy, younger patients with good features are the minority of the patients. Most of them are older patients with poor features, poor risk features, I mean. So for 20, 30 years, this basically that's what we do, try to figure out how to control this disease that is devastating disorder. And most of the people that work in this field, they have been trying to develop some low intensity type of approach that could control the disease or hopefully, you know, have some significant improvement on, on it. So I've been working on this issue of uh, combining DNA methylation, uh, uh, hypomethylating agents with a class of drugs called histone diacetylase inhibitors or HDACs. And we've done this for like 10 years. The data that we presented here on Saturday was with a combination of a drug known as Prasinostat with another compound known as esacitidine. So esacitidine is kind of like the building block for malodysplastic syndrome and for older patients with acute myelogenous leukemia. But the results are modest. So the goal here is to try to improve on these results with esacitidine. So the idea maybe is that one of these doublets with Prasinostat or with some other drug could improve on the response rate and most important, the durability of these responses. So the data that we presented is preliminary. So we have performed three studies with this Prasinostat compound. One is in myelodysplastic syndrome. This is a double-blind trial. We don't know the results. It will be unblinded at some point uh, before the summer this coming year. The second that is part of what we presented, we did a pilot study of 50 patients with AML that were mainly older, where we treated them with combination of esacitidine and prasinostat. And I think these preliminary results are very uh, important. So we show a complete remission rate over 25% and a response rate that we call marrow response that is another 25% or so. So almost half of the patients on this trial had a very significant clinical benefit. And the study is actually very early. So it's possible that these responses could be even higher. We had done a prior pilot study that led to this one that was only 10 patients, and we had like nine patients with a complete response. Now, I don't think we're going to get this kind of data, but um, this is intriguing uh, type of activity. And then the next step will be basically complete the study, analyze it, and hopefully in the next few months, launch a more systematic, broader study that could really prove or disprove whether this combination is better than single agent esacitidine in, 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 in these patients. To finish, because it's a long answer, the reality is that we are modest. We are not looking for 100% cure. You know, probably the audience will like that, but it really we could improve what we have with the current single arm by 20-30%. I think that will be the next building block, and we could build on it. So it's been difficult. So I think this is important results, and also the combination has been very well tolerated. So that makes it very appealing for you know patients that are older than 70 years.